All new tonight at 6 o'clock, we have an update to a story we first brought to you only on 11 Alive. We have now learned the Jonesboro mayor is the target of a criminal investigation. And now she says some city leaders tried to deny her access to City Hall. Right now, the mayor is under investigation for allegedly pointing a gun at a police lieutenant. Our Erica Murphy spoke with the mayor today. She has the latest on this investigation. Mayor Donya Sarter tells me that other city leaders took her access to the Jonesboro City Center away. That is until a Superior Court judge stepped in to intervene. So on Tuesday afternoon, we were advised that a temporary restraining order was in place, um, signed by a Superior Court judge in Clayton County which basically reversed any decision to ban me from the building. When allegations surfaced of Mayor Donya Sarter pointing a handgun at an officer last week, city leaders moved quickly to ban her from the building. However, Sarter's attorney says that decision was not in line with the city's charter. If a person can make an allegation against an elected official and based upon that allegation alone, they can get that elected official unseated or essentially neutralize their powers, that just doesn't pass muster regardless of what jurisdiction it is. Jackson says she presented the case to Superior Court Judge Geronda Carter, and this week Carter issued a temporary restraining order. The document allows Sarter back into the building and orders all city-issued tools of her work to be returned. From everything that I have read, the only person who has the authority to unseat the mayor or remove her from office is Brian Kemp. 11 Alive News did reach out again to the chief and city council members for comment, but no one answered our request. As for Sarter, she returned to her office on Wednesday. A hearing on this matter is slated to take place in Superior Court on September 29th. Reporting from Jonesboro, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News.